Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty is well hidden, al -Ghul. For you chose those with little voice, whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. From the east to you, my friends! Turn your hate inward, Mas'ud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just.
welcome one and all to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim al Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today, I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood? who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Sayidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, Feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. There is a deep wrongness here, a reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. Oh. What have they done to these people? I will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? 
no matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance, and upon such dark secrets we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it, whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise. And how much more so for fools. Havan Muvaffan. Do you think we need luck? Treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. 
I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasure. It is an honor. Indeed, Sidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone.
you ready? And who are you to tell me what I can and cannot do? There is more at stake here than your pride, Wasif. We walk a narrow path. Enough! Take care what you say when we next meet, Governor. I will not suffer such insult twice. That's Wasif and Baghdad's governor, Muhammad ibn Abdullah ibn Tahir. He gave Wasif an order. The warlord did not like it. The governor of Baghdad has no authority over the warlord. Unless... Could he also be with the order? Muhammad? I don't believe it. He is not just governor. He is a poet and a scholar. The man has spirit. I hope to make him an ally. Well, I hope you are right. Wasif is enough to deal with. I just have to find a way inside the garrison. One of the stewards inside is loyal to me. You will find him near the cookhouse. When he sees the red sash, he will help you. What will you do? I will find Beshi and then free other rebels being held in the prison. Wasif, I leave to you. Warlord, you cloak yourself in the Khalifa's colors so you can kidnap and kill at will. You are a plague upon the land. Its soil is red with the blood of those you have butchered, all because they sought their freedom, or because you feared they would. You think yourself untouchable, surrounded by your soldiers. But we will storm the garrison, free Beshi, and see your reign of terror end. Be silent! Take this down quickly. The Zindik Ali and his rebels have attacked the garrison. Request reinforcements. Seal the letter. When the door is fixed, find a way through and deliver it to the Khalifa. On your life! Yes, Saidi. Compose 
closed and silent, even when trapped. Al Murdechwar, indeed. Fighting with the Amir of Barda back in 38. Got a spear in the back. Was it taken from an eagle who fell out of the sky? A symbol of freedom. A word you did not use often. And never will again. Oh. So this is freedom. Yet, I do not see any way out. Have you investigated your three suspects? If not, then your work is not complete. You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Arib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the Order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Tabban. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes in exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by- His mother, Gabiha, is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice, and I will be the one to deliver it. What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not. A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, Master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Gabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. Many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. 
And all for what? Some worthless token of a long-forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. And I will cut the head from the snake. The library. Kobiha must be within. Lanatalahia Lake. Can you not leave me alone? You? Gladly. But your mistress. Do what you will. You will not find her. I have nothing more to say to you. There must be a room beyond this one. But how to reach it? What was it Arib recited? Rage of many volumes by Arib. Kobiha is an admirer. Blue, black, white, and yellow tomes. What was it Arib recited? Rage as the ocean, I'll sweeten your storms. Scorch as the desert, I'll bathe in your heat. Strike as the cobra, but plunge in my breast. Soar as the dove, but alight in my nest. So many years spent searching, combing ancient tomes and tombs, tracing forgotten histories, snatching at rumor and at myth. When all I needed to do was wait for you to come to me. Sion has arrived, yet he knows not what he is. <laughs> Have you not wondered at your nature? You, who see more, who know more. <laughs> Even my son knew to ask what you were. When he saw your hand touch and wake the ancient's gift. What am I? Something more than man. Enough riddles. Speak plainly. Why speak what can be shown? Come with me to Alamut. Beneath its temple walls lies all the knowledge that you are heir to. 
Your so-called brothers would sooner die than see you claim it. But take heart, Basi. We will prepare the way. And set you free. Ah, no! What poison have you lapped at her lips? She said I was something more than man. What did she mean, Roshan? What lies beneath the temple? That is forbidden ground. There's nothing there for you. I told you of the nightmares. The jinni. You called it weakness. Told me to mend it. I tried and tried, but you hid the way. You let me struggle alone! Not alone! You are not the first to walk the shadows broken, Basim. Stitch your shattered pieces into a hole. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. Hurt yourself of the poison she dripped and come home to us. No more than a man, but no less than our brother. Or is it too little for you? What if it is? Follow the path she laid out for you.